This is a real bass guitar with spaghetti for strings. Yes, the strings are really spaghetti, and yes, it actually kind of works. Kind of. As far as I know, I'm the first person to ever do this, and here's how. The first step was to make my own spaghetti from scratch. My goal is to make it as slappable as possible. You see, making spaghetti bass strings, for the most part, has been seen as a giant joke. But this got me thinking, is it actually possible to make working bass strings using spaghetti? I think the answer is yes. You see, these guys had the completely wrong approach. Obviously, these boxed, dried spaghetti noodles are not gonna work. For one, they are way too fragile. Even the slightest pressure will cause them to snap. And even if you boil them, they're just way too flimsy. There is no chance these could withstand a slap. They sure are tasty, though. Mm. Besides, even if you could slap these noodles, they're just way too short. And taping them together, well, that's just silly. What we need is called pasta fresca. It's literally just Italian for fresh pasta. For my pasta fresca, I'm only using two ingredients, flour and eggs. As you probably know, eggs are very sticky. So I'm hoping this will prevent my spaghetti from breaking apart when I slap it. The traditional way of making pasta fresca is to pour your flour on the table, make a large well in the center, pour your liquid ingredients in the well, and just combine until you have a dough ball. I'm not really measuring anything since I'm only using two ingredients. Now let's talk flour. I'm using this stuff called bread flour. Usually, people use it to make, well, bread. Duh. Now, I'm not just using bread flour because I have it left over from making focaccia. I actually bought it specifically for this project. You see, bread flour has a very high gluten content. Gluten is what makes bread have such strong structure. It's the reason why a good crusty baguette is so dang chewy. My hope is that by using bread flour, I'm gonna develop the roughest, toughest, strongest dough you've ever seen in your life. Let's get to work. Now that I've formed my dough ball, it's time to knead. Kneading basically just means squishing and tossing your dough a lot. This helps the gluten inside the dough form deep bonds. Kind of like the deep bond I have with your m- All jokes aside, kneading the dough will help give us a much chewier, more cohesive spaghetti noodle. Let's knead. If you're wondering, I'm not just slapping and spanking my dough for being naughty. This is a real kneading technique. I kneaded for about 30 minutes straight, and let me tell you, it was a workout. It reminded me of when Binging with Babish did the exact same thing. I now see why he was literally working up a sweat. Now, I could save myself all this trouble if I owned an electric stand mixer, but ain't nobody got space for that. After a couple of hours, I now have my spaghetti dough. Let me tell you, this stuff is strong. But before we make our spaghetti strings, we need a base to put it on. This is another thing I think Davey got wrong. This right here is my full-size electric base, similar to the one Davey uses. For starters, I don't think an electric instrument is gonna work. My hunch is that these pickups, which were designed for metal strings, won't be able to pick up the sound of pasta. So we're gonna need to go acoustic. This right here is my upright base. Now, you might notice one small problem. It is way too big. The distance from the bridge to the nut is more than four feet. There is no way anybody is making a spaghetti noodle that long, especially in a home kitchen. Now, I do have a smaller acoustic bass guitar. They're not very common, but they do exist. But even this, honestly, is still too big. I don't think a spaghetto that long is gonna be able to hold up. We need to think smaller. We need a bass ukulele. Yes, this is a thing that really exists. It's a ukulele with bass strings. Davy, the bass king himself has even used one. Now I'm gonna build my own bass ukulele and here's why. Bass ukuleles are kind of expensive and I don't wanna buy one just to put spaghetti on it. But also even a bass ukulele is still a little bit too big for this project. I'm gonna buy a tiny little regular ukulele and transform it into a bass. Let's go. Okay. 
Right across the street from the music store was this Vietnamese restaurant. I decided to order some noodles because I was hungry, but also to see if I could pluck them like bass strings. To my surprise, they actually vibrated just like a bass string. If this makes a sound, I'm confident that we can actually do this. This might actually work. At this point, I was feeling pretty optimistic. If these flimsy little rice noodles can make a sound, then my tough-as-nail spaghetti should be just fine. The first thing I did was take off these useless ukulele strings. We won't be needing these today. Next, I needed to create a new bridge. We're gonna need a nice tall bridge so our bass strings have plenty of space to vibrate around. I'm using this old clave to create the new bridge. First, I sanded down the clave to give us a nice flat edge. This actually took a while and was pretty dang tiring. If you ever decide to turn your clave into a bridge for your spaghetti string bass, I recommend an electric sander. Next, I used a file to create some grooves for the strings to sit in. These are important so the strings stay in one place. Unfortunately, I screwed this up pretty bad. My spacing was completely off. Luckily, I had a second clave, so let's do this again. To keep the bridge on the bass, I'm using this stuff. This is called Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape has to be the stickiest stuff on planet Earth. It's like duct tape times 50 million. Last thing left to do was attach the strings. I ended up using the Gorilla Tape to attach the strings at both ends. This should give you an idea of just how tough this Gorilla Tape stuff is. Now let's talk about the strings for a second. These are specially made bass ukulele strings. I ordered them online for like 30 bucks. They're made of rubber, whereas most bass strings are made of metal. I chose these for my demo bass because they're kind of spaghetti-like. They're very soft and floppy. They even kind of look like spaghetti. They're also really thick. I'll talk about why that's important later. Unfortunately, I was only able to get two strings on my bass. That's okay though. Two string basses are a thing and do exist. The bottom line is this is a bass and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay, we've got our spaghetti dough, we've got our base. Time to make a spaghetti string base. Usually, pasta is made with a machine. I don't have a pasta machine, so we're rolling it out by hand. What I'm doing right here is called laminating the dough. This is very important when making spaghetti, as it gives you a chewier noodle. You gotta fold the dough on top of itself and roll it out a few times. Now that I've got this ridiculously long noodle, let's roll it into a spaghetto. We're not making linguine here. My original idea was to just use the raw pasta dough for the strings. I was worried that boiling the pasta would make it too soft and break apart easily. So I taped the spaghetti to the base, gave it a pluck, and... No. Turns out I was dead wrong. Not only did it not make a sound, but it broke within seconds. At this point, I was feeling pretty down. Maybe it was a dumb idea to think you could make bass strings out of spaghetti. My only hope at this point was to boil the noodles and hope for the best. So I made another absurdly long spaghetto and plopped it in some boiling water. As Babish taught me, you never want to boil pasta fresca for more than 90 seconds. I boiled my noodle for only 60 seconds to make sure it would be extra al dente. Now was the moment of truth. If my boiled spaghetti didn't hold up, it was game over and I would be forced to give up. So I taped on my spaghetti, held my breath, and... Oh my god, it actually held steady. To my amazement, it didn't immediately tear. My guess is that cooking the spaghetti solidified the eggs inside the dough, making the noodle sturdier. It did break eventually, but overall it held up much steadier than the raw spaghetti dough. I didn't exactly get a sound, but we were making progress. Now you might have noticed, but my spaghetti noodle was quite thick. My next attempt, I tried making the spaghetti even thicker. For one, you need nice thick strings to play the bass. We're not making a guitar here, folks. Secondly, this might be obvious, but thicker strings are stronger and less prone to tearing. To make a sound, we're gonna have to pull these spaghetti noodles pretty tight, so having a strong noodle is a priority. Once again, it didn't really go that well and the spaghetti broke. 
All right. I wasn't ready to give up, though. Now, you might have taken notice of the technique I've been using to play our spaghetti string bass. One side is taped to the instrument, while the other side I'm just holding with my hand. To adjust the pitch, I'm stretching the string tighter. You might think this is kind of weird, but it's actually quite common. This right here is called a washtub bass. People have been using this to make bluegrass and country music for hundreds of years. I'm talking about good country music, not this trash. The washtub bass only has one string. It also doesn't have any frets. Don't worry guys, there's nothing to fret over. Instead of using frets, you use this stick to stretch the string tighter or looser, which changes the pitch. So in a funny way, I'm kind of making a miniature washtub bass. I tried a bunch of things to make these spaghetti strings work. I tried making them a little thinner, a little thicker, a little tighter, a little looser. After several hours and at least a dozen distinct noodles rolled and boiled, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We got a sound. I know what you're probably thinking. You call that a sound? <laughs> Listen, I know it's not very impressive or bass-like. In fact, I'll be honest, it kind of sounds like sh**. But you know what? I made a partially functional spaghetti string bass. It's a bass. The strings, or string, is made of real spaghetti. You can pluck it like a string instrument and it makes a sound. I win. Now let's just copy and paste the sound a few times, speed it up, and... It actually doesn't sound too bad. It almost sounds like my upright bass when I bow it a certain way. Now, through the power of video editing, please enjoy the first ever song played on a real spaghetti string bass. <laughs> Como te ven en capa, ya I love you. 